Hey everyone and welcome to today's DAX video journal. I hope you're all well and you've all had a good day in the markets. From a sniper perspective, um, it has been a good day. There was one setup this morning and then a couple of setups this afternoon. The morning was uh, was quite tough. It went sideways for quite a while before obviously giving us something that, that was useful. From my personal trading perspective, it's a little bit more difficult. I actually didn't end the day up or positive. I ended it a little bit negative, but that was obviously because I was trading. I trade other approaches. Um, I was trading the breakouts, as I've shown you, as I've mentioned um, over the past couple of a past couple of weeks, sorry, and obviously I'm going to post that in the new members portal, as I told you about. Now, you know, trading multiple different systems is a blessing and a curse. So some days, obviously, it works out for you, and then some days it works against you. And today is one of those days where it's worked against me. So had I just been trading the DAX sniper. Um, I would have come out ahead of the game. Unfortunately, I was trading other things at the same time, and hence I came out um, a little bit negative. Nothing catastrophic, um, but a little bit down all the same. But you know what? Those things happen. That's trading for you, and that's just something that you really have to get used to. Some some days you are going to take a loss, you know. And I know that there are some people out there, or there are many people out there, that try their best to kind of filter out losses. You know, they'll do whatever they can. Say, well, if I apply this then I wouldn't have taken this loss here and if I apply that I can eliminate that loss you know but trading is about is about taking losses that's what you have to do and the key there is that when you do take a loss it's nothing catastrophic it's it's nothing that wipes out your account but anyway you know that's uh, that's enough about me enough about my trading for today obviously this is the the DAX video journal so let's go through the sniper trades that that I took and the ones that you would have taken because um, obviously that that's what we're here to do so let's jump over to the chart and look at those right now. So we came to this morning's trading. Let me just scroll back a little bit here. So this morning's trading, the market gapped up quite significantly and then it broke back down. This wasn't an opportunity to get in there. If you take a look at that on the four range chart, you know, that's not an opportunity. And let's zoom in on this actually to make things easier to see. That's not an opportunity that I'm interested in. Obviously, the market's gapped up. That's just close that gap there. And really, I'm looking for a momentum move in, you know, in one direction. It doesn't need to be in the direction of the gap. It can be in the opposite direction, but I'm looking for that momentum. So that there wasn't an opportunity I got involved in. The markets then pulled back a little bit, you know, went sideways quite a lot, as you can see here, and really just giving you nothing. So as I said, it's quite tough this morning, um, at least for the early part, to be able to find a trade. And then finally... The market did break down somewhat, as you can see here, this is momentum and this is a sort of momentum that you're looking for in a trade. The market did break down, it then gave us a pullback, okay, back to the moving average here. This isn't actually one that I ended up taking. Um, I was looking for a little bit more of a pullback here, even though, you know, obviously if you move further along here, you can see that the William percentage R did pull back within the overbought territory at this moment in time when the market pulled back here it was nowhere near so for that from that perspective i wasn't interested and then by the time the william percentage r does pull back this then isn't uh, a valid setup because now the market's moving sideways a little bit it's given an attempt to go lower failed then comes higher and then goes lower now as it happens in this instance here the market then would have gone on to pay you but from my personal perspective, this doesn't represent the highest probability setup. And for that reason, it's not something I'm interested in. So I skipped that one there. Um, then the next sniper trade for this morning was this one right here. And this is one that I did take. And this one is almost picture perfect. We get a nice momentum move to the downside, followed by a nice pullback, which is about 50% from the high to the low of that previous move there. Um, which is exactly what you want to see. It's to that previous level of resistor of support over here, sorry, which then becomes resistance. So then at that point in time, we then get the opportunity to go short. And on this candle over here, um, you put your stop above the highs and the markets quickly trade down towards the lows there. So great setup there um, and a great opportunity to make some money. And that was... Um, that was the only one from the morning session there. Uh, I actually traded a little bit longer today. I took a, and you'll see it actually because I did a, a vlog today. So I'll post that up on the, um, in the Facebook page for you all to see later on as well. 
um, but I was trading some breakouts earlier on this morning and suffered a little bit there because the markets basically were breaking out in both directions and costing me money. So as I said earlier on, had I have stuck to just the, the sniper trades, um, I would have been better off today. But, you know, hindsight's a wonderful thing and I enjoy trading lots of different strategies. So um, that cost me today, but c'est la vie. Then um, moving on. So as I was just saying, so that was the morning session. Um, I traded later on as well. So I then went into the office and traded through the afternoon. So the next opportunity I took today was this one here on the um, in the afternoon. So just after 12 o'clock, the market then broke down here. Um, give a, giving us a nice momentum move to the downside. The market then pulls back somewhat. Gives us an opportunity to go short, but at that point, the William percentage jar was not um, in the overbought territory, so we're not interested in that. The market then pulls back some more, and I get in on this opportunity here at 12.34. Now, you're going to ask me, well, what's the difference between this opportunity here and the one earlier on? So let's discuss that very briefly. So the one first thing in the morning, all right, which was this one over here. Take a look at this picture here, all right? Now with this picture here, what's uh, with this picture here, what's happening is the market pulls back, and then it tries to go to to go to the short side, so it needs to it tries to sell off, and then the market pulls back somewhat. All right, but this one here is not higher than that high here. It isn't kind of the same sort of pullback. This is a, a mini mini pullback within this move here. It doesn't really look like something. If you were to draw a trend line in there, you couldn't draw it along this here. Um, you basically draw a trend line here and then you'd have to have a separate one in over here. It doesn't really make much sense, okay? So this is sort of like a one, two, three reversal. Whereas if we come to this one in the afternoon here, and hopefully this makes sense and I don't confuse you even more, but if we come to this one in the afternoon, what we ultimately get is the market, this is all one pullback, if you know what I mean. So the market does try and sell off a little bit here, but then it pulls back some more and it breaks out to a new high. Okay, so from that perspective, this for me is one pullback. Now, it's not picture perfect. It's not like the one earlier, but I kind of felt with this with this price action here, with the market selling off that much here, and if you look at what had previously happened throughout um, the rest of the morning there, the market had been selling off. It had shown that it had got some weight to the downside. So with all of this taking this into account, this was an opportunity for me to go short, and it represented a good one. Um, and therefore, I took that stop above the highs there, and ending up, ended up coming out towards the lows here. So I actually managed to withstand this little bit of a pullback here, which isn't normal for me. I usually like to get out um, pretty quickly, but I was willing to give it a little bit longer because of the preceding price action there. Um, and that paid me quite nicely. And then the final opportunity of the day. So then the market goes sideways again, as you can see here, it's just not a nice trading day. Um, there aren't those nice momentum moves. There's like a momentum move followed by loads of consolidation. The momentum move, loads of consolidation. So not the easiest day to trade by any stretch of the imagination. But then the next opportunity um, that we get involved in is not this one here. This doesn't pull back enough, as you can see here from the William percentage R. Plus you're trading directly into those highs there. So that doesn't make any sense. But the next opportunity is this one over here. As you can see, the market, nice momentum move to the upside. It gives us a nice pullback there. So these nice measured moves towards the value area. If you measure that, that's going to be just over 40%, nearly 50% of this previous move here. So wonderful harmonic price action move there. You then get the opportunity to get in on this candle over here at five to four the market then rallies on up and pays you very very nicely now the sniper today has been my saving grace as i said to you earlier it's been a bit of a tough day for myself personally so in spite of those three lovely sniper trades there which if i'd just taken those would have been out ahead of the game um, which would have been lovely but you know i was trading other setups as well so for me all in all, it was a slightly negative day. I came out a quarter of a percent down, but the sniper trades were did did really, really well for us, which was nice to see because, as I said, the past couple of weeks, actually, the sniper trades have been giving us a little bit of grief, you know, not the, not the easiest markets to trade, um, you know, and if there were any trades at all on some days. So it's nice to see a little bit of a change up there. 
Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's that for me. So hopefully you were trading the sniper today. If you were, you would have had a very good day. Um, if you were trading other th other systems like myself, perhaps not so much. It was a little bit more difficult to trade. Um, but overall, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found value there. Um, and I hope you're learning from it. And that's the main thing. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. And I'll speak to you all very, very soon. Take care now.